Hi, I'm Jenny Johnson, founder of Kids Aloud. Welcome to our July newsletter. We get lots of really positive feedback about the fact that we use lots of different channels of communication with our customers. So we have our Facebook site, Twitter, this video newsletter, and also the weekly newsletter from the centers. But a number of parents say, where do I look for that key piece of information? So we've decided that the one true place, if you like, the place where everything will be is your weekly newsletter. And the great thing about that is that it's also on the website, including historic versions as well. So going forward, we'll ensure that's the one true place where everything will be. Another bit of feedback we had from the parents is that the way of paying for the workshops is a bit of a barrier to actually booking on the workshops on a busy day. So we are going to remove the requirement to pay for the parent workshops and instead just have a charity donation for no-shows, which was what we were trying to change by um, charging for the workshops. It's worked. We have much less people not coming anymore, but we also have less people coming at all. And we want to make sure there's no barriers to you being involved in those really important workshops. We are also going to combine the maths and English workshop into one early years skills workshop which will cover maths and English and reading and writing um, and we think that way it's a better use of your time because you just need to make the time to come to one workshop rather than two. So um, all positive things in response to your direct ideas. that are available for you to take a look at. Um, we completed our annual staff survey and the results have been absolutely fantastic and we think that's something important to share with the parents as well. So you can download that from the website and have a read through it if you'd like. Um, you probably have noticed as well that we're doing a big investment at the moment in our outdoor gardens and we're going to start putting some lovely before and after shots in the newsletters. Um, but the ongoing investment to make sure we offer your children the very, very best is something that we're committed to at Kids Allowed. Um, an example of this is that new starters, and by that I mean new colleagues that are joining the Kids Allowed team, are now going to have a full week induction before they go into the rooms. Day one will be a classroom based induction, day two and three will be their paediatric first aid training course, um, and we're delighted to announce as well that we have a partnership now with Millie's Trust to deliver all of that. And then the final day of the week will be buddied up in the room with someone out of numbers so that they can get to know our routines a little bit more before starting the week after. I don't know of any other provider that puts this um, upfront effort into training and developing new starters and it means that we're very close to having 100% of the team qualified with paediatric first aid. There are some really important dates for your diary this month and especially if you're a preschool two parent. Um, every single preschool two child will have been invited to their graduation ceremony now. This is for children leaving our preschool to go to reception class of school. Um, I'm hoping everybody can make the dates we've invited them to but we are aware of a few people on holidays. So in response to that we've put on one additional date which is the 17th of July and that's going to be an all centre graduation. We're going to host it in Stockport because it's got the best car parking for availability and what we're going to do is just any centre um, that has children that can't make their own dates that will have a very special all centre graduation on that date as well. So we're really hoping everybody gets to come to that. Um, preschool 1 um, children that are leaving for school, we're also going to have a party for them as well so everybody is going to be made to feel special. Um, Maybank holidays, um, if you're looking to swap your Maybank holidays can you make sure for Maybank holiday you've got that done by the 27th of June and for Springbank holiday that you've got it done for the 18th of July doesn't mean you need to have taken the swap it just means you need to have booked the swap um, and also um, we've got the summer holidays coming up and if you have any older siblings we're just suggesting you get your bookings done for the holiday club as soon as possible there are some really organized parents out there which I don't count myself as one who have already booked their child's place and it looks like we're going to have a very full club this year so please the earlier you do it the more confident you'll be of getting a yes to the availability And finally, not brilliant news for people that were looking forward to our Altrincham Centre opening, but it didn't unfortunately get planning consent in its first time around. We will of course be re reviewing the application and seeing what we can do to um, appeal that decision, but it will inevitably delay things. Mm -hmm.